to my channel. So today I'm going to show you two classic sized happy planners that were in the kids line this past summer. I actually recorded a video over the summer of how my kids were going to use them. So I'm going to put some of that in here. This is marketed to females. It has the Life is Magical and Gold foiling. It comes as a kit, so it comes with two thin washi tape, an eraser, a page marker, which is nice, and then little notepad, and then stickers also. But I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the planner. So this planner is August 2018 until July of 2019. It has the plastic ring. So because this goes to August and we homeschool, we needed July to be first, not August, because we actually do a little bit of school in July, even more so than August. So I simply took the July from the back, which would be 2019, and moved it to the front and repurposed it. So this page, because they do double-sided, I wanted to keep the full calendar year and so I covered up where it said August and just got have a sticker from, I think it's a recollection sticker pack that just had the month. I added a Frank Hart's U unicorn sticker to kind of match the unicorn theme and moved in July. That was the only thing that needed to be done there. Moved July in. I have date covers on their way so that I can cover up these dates. We changed the nine to say 2018. And um, I glued the, the um, first week in July because we didn't actually have school. And so here my kids are going through and they're just taking number of stickers that they have and they're repurposing it to have new dates. And so you can see my daughter does, we've done a couple days here. You can see she just writes what it is that we're doing, the time and the, the weather. So that's what she's gonna be using. My plan is, is that I'm gonna add little stickers at the end of each week and tell, write down what I thought she did well. And so we move into, this would have been the July page. So you can see the washi, which is printed, doesn't match, but that's okay because there's actually a month change. So it kind of makes sense. So this is August and I went ahead again, covered up where it, said July this said the don't forget the 4th of July so I just covered that up you can't even tell covered that up so anywhere where it specifically targeted July I covered it up and now it works perfectly for August and then as you go through everything's everything's ready to go so I'll just show you the inner pages just so you can see it's got bucket list it has little jokes in between things that you love it has little drawing prompts what was my favorite thing about this summer? So it has um, crafts and science projects. This one was really cute, I thought. A little puzzle game. So this one is typically marketed towards boys and it comes with a kit with a small five millimeter washi and an eraser. It has little notepads and a page marker. Really like this page marker. And then it also comes with stickers. But today I'm gonna focus predominantly on the planner and how we're using it. So you can see it's got the yellow plastic discs. I had this from a different classic planner from a long time ago and I realized the stripes don't match exactly but it was close enough and so I went ahead and added that in. He's going to be tracking the weather so he's going to use those stickers. Because we homeschool we actually needed July. This planner goes from August 2018 until July 2019 which was not going to work for us so I just moved the July section for 2019 up to 2018 which required some you know 
Franken planning, but it worked out and you'll see. So here's the full two years, year at a glance. This said August because it was meant to really start there. So I went ahead, just covered it up, put July on it. It's totally fine and ready to go. We changed this that said 2019 to say 2018. I have date covers coming to cover this up so that the dates are correct. Then my son is going into the first grade and so I'm actually writing down what we're doing. He's writing the time and the weather. I'm including, hoping to include a sticker. This is actually a sticker that I've added in to just write in, you know, great job or what he's done well. I also plan on having him do handwriting. So learning the days of the week, he can just take that Friday and copy it. I probably will write it so that there's lowercase letters here and then he can copy it in here. But this way he can continue to... Um, do spelling within the planner. And so I've changed this to say August with some recollection stickers. So just covered it up and it's it's fine. And then we move into August. So each week it has them drawing something. It has little jokes in there, encouraging them to make lists and to kind of do like a summary of how the week went. What was your favorite thing about the summer? So just very interactive and then this matches with the other kids planners. As you can see the September craft is the same. So it'll be nice. So they'll both be able to open that up, have the same craft and be able to work together. Now that you have kind of gotten a feel for what our goal was, I just wanted to give a quick update. Also, our our cat has decided to join me for this video. So I got this from Annie Plans. My daughter tracks the books that she's read and she just keeps that in there. She keeps her stickers in that folder. So she has been... <laughs> <there's>... <laughs> she has been using this to track the temperature, what time we start school, uh, what the weather is like. So then at the end of the month, we do line graphs right now to track the weather and the temperature. And then she also writes down the plan for the day. So she'll come to my lesson plan, look at that, which I use the big happy planner she'll look at that and then she'll know kind of what to write down we also have a routine where you know Tuesdays we generally do grammar and science and Wednesdays we'll do nature and history so she'll she kind of adds that in and she also will jot down things that happen events that happen throughout the week and then this is my son's version he is basically in first grade it's always hard to tell with homeschooling he keeps his stickers in a classic size folder that I had already had and then I'm gonna just show you really quick his monthly view so they both do this but they'll track if they've got karate or ballet or piano or something. My son loves the food sticker, so he's always like, we, you know, we need to make pizza this week so I can use my pizza sticker. We actually made french fries and he used that and we went on a road trip so he picked his, you know, put his truck on there to show that we were going to do that. We had a bonfire. So he actually really enjoys it and my daughter does too. Hers is a little bit more personalized so I just wanted to respect that. So that's kind of how that he uses them. One of the things I wanted to make sure of is that even if he's using this planner, he's still practicing learning how to spell the days. If you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up. If you would like to see more like this, then please subscribe. Thanks so much. And until next time, keep planning.